Hey everybody, how you doing out there? It's yours truly. Dave, Dave Froley, welcome to my world. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I want to start by the premise by saying this TV show needs no introduction. If you're a child who uh, grew up in the early 80s and 90s, you may come across with a lot of TV shows. This is no difference. Uh, this show was uh, deep in mystery. Everything you could think of in the mysteries, in the mystery world. doesn't matter if it's negative or positive. It talks about subjects like UFOs, crimes, unit missing people, missing person. Uh, it deals with all those sort of subjects. Uh, and it uh, uh, puts it in a little package. This sh uh, TV show, you might have heard about it I mean, when you came across these TV shows. It's called Unsolved Mysteries with Robert Stack, if I can remember his name. Uh, he, was a, he was a guy that you would kind of know in the intros. Um, uh, folks, he did mystery like you wouldn't believe. Uh, it, it, and, and by the way, let me, let me premise, as they say, let me premise by saying, in these TV shows, they would have a 1-800 number at the end of the show. 1-800 number, or the 1-800 numbers, so you can call up these TV shows. Uh, remember, they're toll-free numbers. They keep telling you it's a toll-free number. Uh, this is these TV shows. They didn't have the internet. They didn't have Twitter. Uh, they would say at the end of the show, they will give you the 1-800 numbers to call up with these mysteries. Uh, and so they would show in a mass of people, mass of people out there. Uh, this show was called, the title of the show was called Unsolved Mysteries with Robert Schnack, the actor. He was, he was well known in the acting world. Um, and uh, he, when the, I always, I always remember the theme music to it because it was so eerie to everybody. Uh, and uh, it talked about mysteries, missing people, talked about UFOs. It, it, it runs the gamut of topics. Uh, <laughs> missing people, uh, cold cases to uh, crashes to UFO sightings. It was, it was essentially unsolved stuff. It was unsolved stuff. And you pardon the pun. Unsolved. These are, uh, uh, these were, uh, stories that were unsolved due to the viewers out there. Um, and you, I kind of question this. It was, it was a production TV show called Unsolved Mysteries, and Robert Schnack was the host of that show. Uh, it was an eerie, uh, it was very eerie in the intro music stuff, like the intro of that TV show. And you can know you're going to get a mystery out of it. Uh, yeah. And it starts, it starts off by giving a, a topic, they, they usually put a, like, a title of the, of the mystery that they want to run by, kind of thing. Uh, so, uh, it could be missing people, it could be UFOs, it could be a car crash. It could be a, a, a murder investigation. It could be unsolved mysteries. These are unsolved mysteries, people. This is very, very a uh, good show, and the show is called Unsolved Mystery with Robert Stack, the host of that show. Uh, and you knew right away you're going to get a mystery uh, out of this whole entire show. It's a one-hour show, one-hour show, production value over it. Uh, and uh, at the end of the show, they would they would uh, kid you not, they would tell you about the one eight hundred numbers. About uh, uh, the stuff that you've seen on the program, as they would say. The stuff you would see on the program. And uh, they would give you the 1 800 number. These are toll free numbers. These are not like you, you as a person phoning up the number and uh, get paid by the phone companies. Uh, these are toll free numbers. I kid you not. Toll free numbers. And uh, this is Robert Snack, the host of that show. Um, and the show is called Unsolved Mysteries. It's a, it's a show from the early 80s on and then 90s. It had, I think, eight series of it. And uh, they had these toll-free numbers at the end of the program. This was like between 8 o'clock and 9 o'clock, the prime time hours. And, um, and the big hour show, and sometimes they'll have mysteries, cold cases that are unsolved. They call them Unsolved Mysteries uh, because of that. Uh, these were unsolved mysteries that uh, the public, if they, if they saw something on one of these uh, mi unsolved mysteries, they could call up this one they had a number and say, hey, I saw that person on the one on the unsolved mystery program. And uh, I can identify that person kind of thing. Uh, so, yes, this was a TV show back in its day, and it's ahead of its time, as they would say, the head of its time. Uh, the fight crime. They always say fight and crime. Well, this was what the show was all about. That's why it's called Unsolved Mysteries. Because it needs to be solved. It needs to be solved, everybody. That's why they want 800 numbers at the end of the TV show. Yeah, this is from Emma, this is Brian.
Network, and they'll put it up on the screen. They always say, put it up on the screen, the 1-800 number. Um, and uh, Robert Schnack was the host of that show. You, you may have seen him there. Uh, he's the guy with the long trench coat. Uh, that, that's how he wears it, the long trench coat. Um, and he's a very fine actor. I like his voice. I like his voice. For some strange reason, he's, he's got a very I say distinct voice. And uh, it's a production TV show, but at the end of the TV show, as everybody would say, they got these 1-800 numbers, toll-free numbers. These are toll-free numbers. I kid you not. Toll-free numbers. Um, it's, not, it's not like you go on Twitter and tweet this out. Uh, these are toll-free numbers. They'll show on, on the screen of the program. Uh, at the end of the program, this is a one-hour show, and they'll start at 8 and at 9. And then they say, if you saw any mystery out of the programs, and if you see anybody in those mis unsolved mysteries, these are unsolved mysteries. These are cases. These are uh, murders that happen. These are uh, all sorts of stuff. This is a, 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 around prime time hour. This is like right around prime time hour. And uh, the robber stack, he was, he was an actor. No kid you not. He was a fine actor. But he hosted a show called Unsolved Mysteries. I don't think it's on now, but folks... Uh, this was the days when you didn't have Twitter, or YouTube, or Facebook. It was it was ahead of its time in terms of uh, crime shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But instead of, instead of you go on Twitter on YouTube and say, "Hey, I saw that person on on Soul Mysteries," can I up tweet it or can I YouTube it? But yeah, it's heaven its time, like I said, any crime show, it was heaven its time. We've got the 1-800 numbers, is got the toll-free numbers, so don't worry about that. If you can phone up a toll-free number, that's great. Uh, it, they usually show it at the, at the end of the show. They'll show you the toll-free numbers. Uh, the, uh, so you, as a, uh, as a caller who called up, does have to get charged for the number. Uh, somebody else has to pay for the 1-800 uh, numbers. But these are toll-free numbers, I kid you not. And, uh, and Robert Schnack, I hope I pronounced his name right, uh, he was a host of that Unsolved Mystery program. It was a TV show. It was a TV show. And he has a very distinct voice. If, you, if you've seen him on that TV show, a very distinct voice. And they tried to do Unsolved Mysteries. Remember, this is Unsolved Mysteries. This is like every case that's out there in the world uh, about UFOs. On so, uh, missing people, missing person, you name it, they deal with every topic there's to know out there. So, yes, it's like, it's a, it's sort of like a crime show. It's like a crime show, we're all up to one. Uh, yeah. And, uh, they want the viewers to really call up the 1 800 number to see what they saw on the, on the segments. They call them segments. Yeah. And they do a little story about what they uh, what they saw in the story, and if they saw these people in the story, they can call these one eight hundred numbers, and uh, and uh, yeah, uh, sometimes they'll show a UFO uh, uh, story about somebody seeing a UFO in the sky, and describe it as a UFO, um, and uh, yeah, it's a lot of mysteries. That's why it's called unsolved mysteries for a reason, because they're unsolved, uh, and and. Uh, in order to get them solved, as they say, to solve stuff, uh, they need to call, they have to have the viewers call up this 1-800 number. And, uh, and, uh, I, I'm putting a bunch of a caution, a bunch of caution here. And, and uh, yes, so I'm going to come back on you with that. So, Robert Stack, I don't know if he's still around to this day, but, uh, he's still a good, I used to like the show. Uh, it was like a religious thing to see. Uh, and it was like a mystery you get every week. Every single week, you get a mystery. And it was a new one. And they would, <laughs> and the people who saw this stuff, at the end of the, at the end of the program, they would give you a one hundred number if you, you know, if you want to fight crime and stuff like that. <laughs> and you're part, you're kind of like, you're, you're, you're kind of part of, you're kind of like solving a mystery in a TV show. Like, and they would say, hey, I saw that person on your Unsolved Mystery Program uh, segment. And, uh, and that's what I mean. These are unsolved mysteries. These are need to be solved. Like a missing person to a UFO sighting to... Uh, and uh, this was uh, heaven's time. Heaven's time, as they would say. Uh, and uh, remember, folks, we are live every single week, every single week, at here on Dave's World. That's right, Dave's World. Welcome to my world. Not your world, my world.
Welcome to my world. This is what I have to deal with every single day, everybody. Every single day. I kid you not. This is what I have to deal with every single day, like week to week, day to day. Yeah. And I want you, I want you to understand it, folks. Uh, I want to put disclaimer out there. I really, really, honestly want to put disclaimer out there. Yeah. Uh, it's like, the, uh, like people, people like to put disclaimers on the videos. Well, I'm gonna put my disclaimer here uh, on this video. Okay, this is only a TV show from the early 80s and 90s called Unsolved Mysteries, the title of the TV show. And uh, it was a very eerie intro uh, theme music to it. And you knew you get Robert Schneck. Uh, apparently, he was an actor from a long time ago. Uh, but he had a trench coat. I recognized him. He had this big trench coat that he wore. And he was <laughs> and the locations that they were at, it was dark and dim. And, uh, and there was a production value over it. Uh, but anyway, I want to, I want to, uh, I, like I said, this TV show is heavy its time, as everybody would say. Uh, they didn't have Twitter in those days, they didn't have YouTube, they didn't have any of those. So they, what they did, what they do, the best, best, as they say, the next best thing, they would put the 1-800 numbers, the toll-free number, 1-800 numbers. So you, you yourself as a viewer can solve these crimes, the unsolved mystery crimes. Yeah. And these were TV shows on primetime hour, I kid you not, on primetime hour. And uh, you as a viewer could solve these crimes. And uh, whatever, you know, and people did call up. I mean, really. And it, it was like, it was like a, you were, you were kind of like the real live caller who called up. It wasn't like, it was a like voicemail. People would say voicemail. Well, what's this voicemail? Well, voicemail is kind of like a, a robot or, <laughs> well, you know what voicemail is, people. You know what voicemail. You guys been through the early 80s and 90s. You know what voicemail is. You hate voicemail, right? Uh, yeah. And um, so the big lesson here, folks, is uh, like the guy said. Uh, lesson here is disclaimer. I want to put disclaimer on this video. Um, my hope, in, my hope, in, uh, to do this properly is to give you guys the benefit content, the really uh, good content that you guys want to hear about and listen. And maybe, maybe learn something from mine. This will remember, you're in my world, not in your world out there. You're well, welcome to my world every single day we have to deal with. Yeah. And this is Dave's world. That's why I want to be called Dave's world. And, uh, yes, uh, I want to I want to fight the good fight out there. I want to get these videos out there and maybe, maybe get you guys to think of what, what, what I'm saying here and upload it to YouTube videos. And, uh, and this is my theory. This is my theory of mine, uh, that I jumped out at. Uh, I just want to say one quick, uh, remember, this is disclaimer all over. I'm not promoted because of the TV show. I'm promoted as for me. I'm giving you a brief idea of what the show is about. Uh, is they put out 1-800 numbers, these are toll-free numbers, as I've said, um, so the viewers out there can call up this 1-800 number, and you can fight these crimes, you can fight these unsolved mystery crimes. Uh, and they would have a segment, there was these segments, and people would call up this, after the segment and say, hey, I saw this person on unsolved mysteries. And it was heaven's its time, as everybody would say, it's heaven's its time, it didn't have Twitter, it didn't have YouTube to deal with. And, um, and Robert Stack, the host of that show, was called Robert Stack. And the big trench coat, he wore a big trench coat. You'll recognize him in that TV show. I think they would have archive footage of that. Archive TV show footage of that. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so there you go. So I'm going to let you guys uh, uh, digress on that. And uh, remember, it's ahead of its time. Remember, this is from about the early 80s and 90s. We didn't have Twitter or YouTube in those days. So they did one... Uh, they did the next best thing by putting up the, uh, putting up the toll-free numbers, the 1-800 numbers. And uh, this is by phone only. So, yeah, yeah, so I want to iterate that, and I'm going to say good night to everybody. Good day, good night, and good evening, and uh, wherever you guys are, wherever you guys are doing at this moment, uh, it doesn't matter. Just listen to my information, you guys will get the, the, uh, the rundown of what I'm saying. This is no joke. Uh, I didn't get paid for saying this. I just put it out there if you guys want to listen to what I have to say. That's great. Um, and by the way, YouTube doesn't pay me. I pay them. Just so you know. And, and by the way, by the way, 
I just, I just hear, I'm going to put disclaimers all over this. I'm going to put disclaimers all this. And, uh, yeah, so uh, video production value is great, folks. It really is. You got to create that content, put it out there on YouTube. Viral videos, I'm talking about viral videos. I'm talking about a whole bunch of things. Until then, I'll see you guys, shall, on the next podcast. Hope you enjoyed this uh, information uh, gathering around the, around the, around the uh, circle. A circle of friends. I call it a circle of friends. Yeah, you're, you're here with me with the friends. In the circle of friends. So, until then, I'll see you guys. I'll, I'll do.